Hello and welcome to Catherine's Garden. This is a Zone 6 garden in the Northeast. I'm going to talk about and show you my dinosaur kale that I seeded and planted and also pests in the garden. There's also some other great things that I want to show you. So come with me as we walk around the garden together. Hello and welcome to Catherine's Garden. It's so good to be with you here in the garden and amongst the flowers. Uh, things are looking really good, even in spite of those tassels that I showed you earlier that have just been taking over. But still, it's just a beautiful day in the garden. are growing and coming up and uh, what was asleep is now awake and I just love this transitional time in the garden. A dominant feature in the garden right now are the alliums and I'm not going to focus on them today but they do dominate here now and they are so beautiful. I love them with the yellow um, that's um, I don't know what it's called but it's it, when you break the stem of that yellow plant it, it um, has a sappy substance that it will um, it's like orangey color that comes on your skin <laughs> with the purple sensation alleys. So the garden is on the next phase of transition. Things are still a little messy from the falling of the te tendrils or the tassels from the oak tree and I just wanted you to see that. See what has happened? Yeah, the place is still uh, kind of messy, but the sun is shining today, which is really good. And uh, things are looking up in spite of how um, the deck is appearing. So I just wanted you to see that. But you know what? You know what happened today? I looked out the window and I saw a raccoon. Yes, a raccoon. He was walking across and he um, then came back and I saw him in, uh, near the tulips and um, he looked at me and I looked at him and I went and I got my phone and I recorded it. So I want you to see the raccoon. <laughs> And then he climbed over the wall in the back by the hydrangeas and uh, went into the neighbor's yard. So there are raccoons in the area. This is 
terrible. And I'm just hoping that they are not planning on eating my veggies in my garden. But I think there's plenty of food around for them to eat because I have plenty of squirrels and there are other stuff um, that are um, that they love to eat. <laughs> So I just have to just be mindful of that and realize that it's not just the squirrels digging holes in my garden, but now there are raccoons wandering around um, digging holes and looking for food. And uh, it is quite amazing all of the critters that have come out now. And then because I think more people are at home and uh, the garbage is piling up, that they are um, now eating from people's garbage cans and so forth and um, like because the restaurants are closed and they cannot um, eat from the dumpsters you know that's the place where they they're used to eating from they can't go back there and eat so they are looking for food so to, this year is going to be quite interesting and um, just gonna try and make sure that I don't give them any opportunity to really come and hang out here at Catherine's Garden. Mm -mm, this is not the place for raccoons and all of the other pests, garden pests. But we're gonna enjoy the garden because today is such a beautiful day. My son bought me this beautiful maple tree for Mother's Day and at one point there, I thought it was suffering a little bit, as you can see here. The leaves look like they were turning brown, which, which they were. The leaves are turning brown, but um, I don't see it happening throughout the plant. Instead, I actually see some growth here. Um, and that is encouraging. So I think it's settled in, but now I have to decide on where am I going to put it in the garden? that it can really thrive. But it's a beautiful specimen of a Japanese maple tree. The other thing that I wanted to show you is this, that here is the grape plant. You remember when I planted this grape vine in the bowl? And I also have this rose bush that's hanging out with it, but here's the grape vine. Doesn't it look good? It's growing and it's starting to trail. It's getting its little tendrils there. It's doing very, very well. So that's the update on the grapevine. Yeah, so I'm in the garden. The strawberries that I planted in the baskets from the Dollar Tree that basket there <laughs> they did not come back they didn't they didn't come up they didn't grow so what I did was I used them to plant my um, begonia actually it's not a begonia geranium <laughs> I used it to plant the geranium in. That's that's the geranium. Yeah. So that's what's here now in the container. And I'm putting this tab here so that I can remember what the name of it is. The geranium. Oops. So I placed, I placed it in the air. And here are the potatoes. Look at this that I put in the pots. They're growing really huge. And that's one pot. And then there's one pot here being overtaken by these beautiful, beautiful hostas. some more of the potatoes in the pots. 
I'm, I'm very amazed at the fact that they're coming up so well. It looks really, really nice. And here, here is my fig tree. It's decided to come back. I haven't had much success in overwintering fig trees, my fig tree, as far as fruiting is concerned, but they do come back with the leaves. And, uh, it's very attractive. It's an attractive plant in the garden. So um, I'm, I'm just happy to see it return. The added bonus would be that it would fruit. the seed here of the dinosaur kale and they're coming up I thought that this would be a good location for the kale because I had planted kale here last year now this is a Brussels sprout and it's just beautiful so I'm just leaving it there and these are bolted as well these are kale but last year they did very, very well here. I just decided just to leave them and let them go to seed. I really love the flowers. I also planted in here the kale. First I put it in a big pot and then I put them in these little individual pots from the Dollar Tree. And they are doing very, very well. I have to decide on where I want to plant them in the garden. But this is the dark dinosaur kale. And I'm really pleased at how this is working out. Just trying to keep them a little safe from the critters. I have here the strawberry plants that are growing and I actually have strawberries right here. So I wanted to show you this here. That they're actually doing very, very well. Do you see that? And I'm going to have a lot of strawberries. They're actually starting to form the berries here. And that is very, very exciting. that the rhododendron flowers are opening up here.
there is so much that I want to do in the garden and uh, there's so many things coming up it's really looking very very beautiful and full and lush and uh, I know that the roses are coming soon but also I love how these hydrangeas are setting up to bud and hopefully I will have a lot of blooms to show you. It's definitely in a little transition, but you know, it just takes patience. Just gotta wait. In the meantime, I do like how the garden is looking. And these tulips have really lasted for a long time. And I'm, I'm very, very pleased with that. But I'm, I'm happy for what's coming next. And I really do like this geranium. So if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. And come on back to Catherine's Garden. We are doing our best here just to enjoy what we have and, you know, to stay cheerful and happy. So come again and be a part of my adventure and enjoy this day. Well, if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe, comment down below. Do you have garden pests? Have you seen like the raccoons and all of these other things, squirrels coming to eat your things? And what about cats? I love the cats. I don't mind the cats, but the, definitely the, the raccoons and, you know, at one point I had um, garden snakes. <laughs> So how are you handling things like that? Let me know. You can put it in the comment section. So um, come again. If you have not subscribed to Catherine's Garden, then I'm inviting you to come again and uh, come on by and spend some time with me here in Catherine's Garden. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.